Hi, I'm Pierce Jens with Baratza Support. Today, let's go through recalibrating your Vario Vario W or Forte, that is recalibrating the burrs. On all these units, the process is basically the same. First, you make sure that your upper burr is locked all the way counterclockwise into position. Next, you check your burr touch time by starting with the levers in the full course position, moving the right lever up to two, and moving the left lever up to listen for the burrs beginning to come into contact. With the macro on too, I do not hear a change in noise at any point on the micro scale, indicating that the unit needs to be recalibrated. For recalibration, I'm gonna go ahead and set the macro onto two, the micro onto Q, We'll get our calibration tool into position. We're going to start the motor and we're going to tighten the calibration screw until we hear a change in noise, indicating the burrs are beginning to come into contact at a setting of 2Q. We can go ahead and check that by dropping both the lever arms to full course. Start the motor. Up to two. Then you're done, that's it. And we're gonna walk through on each of these units specifically how to do it and show you step by step. Before calibrating, be sure that your upper burr is locked all the way counterclockwise into place. If your upper burr is not locked all the way counterclockwise, the grind will not be able to go to an espresso fine setting. On the Vario and Vario W, the three wings of the upper burr carrier should be rotated all the way counterclockwise until they hit the plastic stops. They'll be on the right side of the stops. What I have shown here is an upper bird that is not locked all the way counterclockwise into place. This grinder will not be able to do an espresso fine grind regardless of how the calibration is adjusted until this upper bird is locked counterclockwise into place. To do so, get your handy dandy Baratza upper bird removal tool, drop it into place, and rotate it counterclockwise into the lock position until it stops. After doing so, you can go ahead and visually confirm that the three wings are butted up against the right side of the gearbox tabs. Now we can go ahead and proceed to calibration with the very own Vario W. The Forte is a little bit different. It doesn't have these three plastic stops that the very own Vario W does because the upper berth threads into the grind chamber in a different way. What you want to do for this one is make sure that it's locked tightly into place. This grinder is not locked tightly into place. I can freely move the upper burr carrier. The upper burr carrier is only going to be in need of locking into place if you have manually unlocked it, say you took it apart and cleaned it recently. What I want to show you is with the Forte, when you put in your upper burr, you want to rotate it first clockwise until it flattens out and then you want to go counterclockwise once it's nice and flat. The step of going clockwise first, make sure that the upper bird carrier is nice and flat and prevents cross threading between the upper bird carrier and the grind chamber. If I were to try and screw it in at an angle, it may damage the threads and we'll go ahead and avoid that by rotating it first clockwise until it sits down nice and flat, listen for it. And then I'll go counterclockwise to start screwing it in. Now, as soon as the burr starts screwing in, you can see that I can't lift it out anymore. It's started to thread. It goes about a full turn before it's fully tight. So if we watch this tab and we track it around the circle, that's one full rotation and a little bit extra before it starts getting tight. Now I'll go ahead and take my Barossa burr removal tool and just give it a little bit extra to lock it fully counterclockwise into position. As the lower burr rotates counterclockwise when you're grinding, it will not loosen the upper burr, it will remain tight. We'll start by dropping the lever arms down to the full course position. To start the motor on the Vario W, press tear, one, start. The blue light next to the start button will come on and the motor should run. On the Forte, let's do weight, manual, 
Start. A blue outline will appear around the start button and the motor should run, but you can see it's not. That's because the hopper must also be inserted and locked clockwise into position. It engages a safety switch that, unless it's engaged, will prevent the motor from starting. For the Vario, we're going to do manual and start. The display should count up and the blue start light will come on. You can see that it hasn't because the grinder was still waking up. I press manual and now the manual button is illuminated. I press start, the screen counts up, and like the other grinders, it must have the hopper locked clockwise into position for that safety switch to engage and the motor to receive power. Let's check the calibration of the grinder as it is now. To do that, we're going to run the motor, move the right lever, the macro adjustment, up to setting two, and move the micro adjustment up until we hear a change in noise indicating the burrs are beginning to come into contact. I don't hear any change in noise on this unit, which tells me that it's time to recalibrate the burrs. To do so, go ahead and get a 2mm hex key or the handy calibration tool that came with the grinder. We're going to insert it into the hole right behind the discharge chute of the unit until it fits into the screw inside. Next, we're going to set the levers to 2 for the macro and Q for the micro. We're going to start the motor and while the unit is running, we're going to tighten or adjust finer the calibration screw until we hear a change in noise indicating the burrs are beginning to touch. The screw should be easy to rotate. If your screw is rotates easily and then all of a sudden becomes hard to rotate, check that your upper burr is locked all the way counterclockwise and reach out to our support team if it is and you're still having difficulty with the screw rotating. Do not force this screw, do not over tighten this screw. If you experience anything outside of what you're seeing in this video during the recalibration process, that's exactly what our support team is here for and we're happy to help, whether that be through email or on the phones. Let's get to it. At this point, the unit has been returned to factory calibration. We can confirm that by going to fully course with both of the levers, starting the motor, moving the right arm to two, the left arm to Q, and confirming that change in noise. We know for sure this is a properly calibrated grinder. If you have any issues with the recalibration, please reach out to our support team either by calling our toll-free number or writing us at support at Thank you.